Hello and welcome to another edition of Vault TV. I'm only laughing because um, I think this is episode 183 or something like that and uh, initially I'd said prior to all of this that uh, if it got to episode 50 and I still wasn't feeling comfortable in front of the camera then I would obviously cut my losses and, and let it kind of die. But um, now we're up to episode 183, rapidly reaching kind of episode 200 which we're going to do live, um, live from up here and um, and get a whole group of other people kind of involved and uh, do another little um, streaming vid online and so yeah it should be a, a lot of fun um, and the reason why I'm doing tonight really is um, I was a bit kind of befuzzled by this wine I don't know whether you can see that it's the Aviatrix from Alpha Domus it's a blend of Sauvignon Blanc Chardonnay and Viognier which I've got to say seems a little odd to me um, Obviously, Sauvignon from Bordeaux and there, kind of Bordeaux and the Loire, and then you've got Chardonnay from obviously Burgundy. Then just a bit further down on Condru and also throughout the Languedoc, you've got the the Viognier, and so it just seemed a very very odd blend. And whether it was from excess grapes or something like that, or it was an intentional project, I I have no idea, but. Um, then I queried the name Aviatrix, which apparently you get a dominator, dominatrix, aviator, and it's the female kind of aviator, a aviatrix. So um, let's see if she's feminine in the glass anyway. Um, it's a, just a very awkward name for me, and uh, also the, the, the blend is very awkward. If it's all from the same site, I would I'd probably have a bit more kind of sympathy for it, kind of trying to do something different. We've got to innovate and stuff like that. But um, one of the things that it's very, very aromatic. It's one of the most aromatic wines, apart from Wilm Gewurz that I've had recently, that it's just jumped out the glass. As soon as I under the bottle, kind of like you've got this kind of floral, zesty, limey, lemony, sherbety kind of thing kind of flying out the glass. And that's exactly what I get. It is like lemon sherbet with a little twist of kind of toffee apple. Then you get all this lime and kind of meringue, lemon and meringue pie. And it's like that uh, sherbet dab in the pack where you get the little little lolly and you lick it and you bring out the sh lemon sherbet and stick it in your mouth and you get that kind of slight effervescence. And that's what it kind of really is on the nose. There's a bucket load of acid in there. Um, probably slightly too much acid. I'd say it's predominantly Sauvignon. It's got the palette weight of uh, Chardonnay and the aromatics of Viognier, but it's fairly well, technically it feels it's very well made. Balance wise, it's still fairly, it's, it's in balance. And I quite, uh, the nose I find really, really interesting, but I'm just unexcited about it. It's, that's a difficult one. I, I, everything about the wine is good, but it's just not my type of wine, probably. Um, technically, I'd probably give it kind of 88 points. Aromatically, the same. Um, it's a well-made wine, 88 points, but it's just not my kind of cup of tea. Anyway, um, just got to say thanks again for all the support. I got a. Uh, speaking appointment kind of at the Cannes social media event which is kind of is, for me social media has just really taken off and taken us to another level really kind of in returns and stuff like that it's been fantastic so it's all down to you guys and thanks very much for your support and um, I'll see you on the next episode thank you very much